Hey everyone, and welcome to the seventh episode in my tower defense game series. Today, I will be adding the health and then the little message that says, hey, you lost or hey, you won. So let's hop right into it. As you can see here, I have two brand new sprites. One is named health and one is named level lost slash win. So in the health sprite here, I have just a little graphic of three hearts, then one of two hearts, one heart, and zero hearts. Then they're named according to how many hearts there are. So this one's named three, two, one and zero then level loss slash win there's one named victory and as you can see the text just says victory and one named defeat and it just says defeat and then one bg which is literally just a black box so i'm going to go ahead and start with the health so for now you can go ahead and click this this slash around the eyeball for the level loss that way it hides it and for the health i want it to go kind of underneath the coin so i want to pull out a when i receive play level which is when we very first start and then i want to do a show block next i want to do a go to x and y except i want to change this to negative 198 so it goes all the way to the left side of the screen over here and y 123 that way it goes up there so now if we go ahead and click on this as you can see here it just kind of goes underneath the coins which looks really nice next i want to do a forever loop and then a go to front so it's nice and in front of everything and then i want to do an if else now i want to go ahead and make a brand new variable and name this in all caps capitals health and this is going to be for the sprite only now the reason we did it in all cap like the money is because it means it's for the player it's like the person playing what is the total money of the player it's this money it's not a different money or the health is all capitals it's the health of the player not the enemies or the towers or anything like that so that's why i did money and health in all capitals so i want to do an if else in here and i want to do if the health is equal to three then else equal to two else it's equal to one and then else is zero so if it's equal to three then i want to switch costume it to three if it's equal to two then it's going to be two otherwise if it's equal to one it's going to do that and otherwise it's going to be zero so the reason i'm not just doing switch costume to health like that is because when i was testing this before it actually doesn't quite work it kind of switch around a little bit so i'm doing this to ensure that it always switches to the right costume now i want to go ahead and duplicate this and change this to a when i receive level select so that means we don't want this to be shown and i want to do a hide so now as you can see it's all hidden when we're in our level select that we did last episode now if we go ahead and play the game as you can see it loads up right there this health is actually equal to zero so if we were to grab a set health to and set it to i don't know two as you can see it actually switches to the right costume maybe three that's full health so now we know that our system here is working for now in the very beginning of the play level just go ahead and set that health to three we go ahead and head into the enemies and scroll around until you find the little moving script this one right here the ai speed we have this saying if i'm touching the edge then delete this clone so that is where we can actually make it change the health and all that stuff so we are going to want to first to make sure that this all works is change the total Total enemies by negative one and the total enemies on screen by negative one like so now I want to do a change health and change the health by negative one also and then a set the enemy health to zero so there we go that's going to work a little bit better so now if we go ahead and test this out once the slimes reach it to the edge we should take some damage but a way you can speed this up because it's going to be really slow with the play testing is just find this little ai1 and change it to a higher number so they move nice and fast like that so now as you can see when they go boop 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 and it actually does the health there and so that means that this is working correctly so now as you saw there it wasn't very nice when the health went down it just kind of looked plain so i want to add a little animation so i'll go ahead and put a broadcast in between this total enemies by negative one and health by negative one and do new message and name this health we have the same basic thing in the money when i receive money it does the animation it's basically going to be the same exact thing so broadcast health then in the health want to do a when i receive health i want to go ahead and set the size to 100 percent just to make sure it resets it and then a repeat three times and a go to looks and do change size by next i want to do a negative six inside of there and we're going to do a little graphic effect so i want to change the whirl effect by 25 then once we're done we want to reset it so set the clear graphic effects so it resets that whirl and then they set size back to 100%. But now there should be a little animation. So as you can see, 
boom, boom, boom. It just kind of does a little animation to kind of transition between the taking damage. So now I want it to actually do something when the health reaches to zero because right now it's not even doing anything. So that is where this level loss slash win comes in. So I want to do a when I receive play level and this is in the level loss slash win play level like that. I want to make a brand new variable and name this level loss slash one. Then I want to make sure that's for all sprites and in the very beginning I'm going to set that level loss slash one to an A because when we first start there's gonna be no answer for that. Then I want to set that the health to three in the very beginning and go into the health here and delete that set three. We want it in the level loss. Then I want to go ahead and do a hide block so it hides it and a go to zero zero so it's perfectly in the middle. Next after this I want to do a wait block and I want to go ahead and do a forever loop in here and I want to do an if else and then I want to do a less than block. So this is going to be forever checking if the health is less than one so that means we've lost. Then I want to set the level loss slash one to loss. Then I want to show and switch costume to defeat. Then I want to go ahead and do a create clone of myself and then following after that a forever loop and a go to front. To finish off this clone I want to do it when I start as a clone in a switch costume to background. So the clone is going to be the background and then a set color effect to and make sure this is ghost not brightness ghost because that'll make it transparent and I will do that 50. So that way it's 50% transparent so you can count kind of still see the background then a forever loop here and a go forward four layers now we're probably going to have to tweak all these go forward because it just kind of depends on your project so we'll do that in a second though and then we want to do a win i receive and do level select here a hide and then a delete this clone then go ahead and put that in a repeat 10 times that way it gets rid of it so if we go ahead and let these slimies defeat us as you can see here there they come boom 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 defeat feet oh and we still did brightness i didn't change it to go see that so now we need to start all over and redo it so that is why we have these slimes on super speed that way if something silly happens like that then we can start over and it doesn't really take that long to retest it so there we go we have three health two health one health zero health defeat there we go so all that stuff pops up right but as you can see here this faded faded out background which is a 50 percent transparency one does not actually come cover up everything on the screen here. So the way to do this is because we have the level lost slash one, see how it says lost? We need to just go into the rights that are in front of it and check if it's lost. And if it is, then we need to not go to front anymore. For example, let's start with the heart health. I want to do an if else here and do a level loss slash one and do if it equals to NA, which means we're just playing the game because remember we set it to NA in the beginning. Then I want to pull this out and do go to front. Otherwise, I just want to do a go forward one layers. Maybe change that to two. There we go. As you can see, because we did the two layers, it is still there, but it's behind this faded out. So we need to do that for basically everything. And you may have to tweak this stuff. But we're going to duplicate all of these scripts into the money sprite now. For the coins, right here is this. So I want to do if it's equal to NA, go to front. Otherwise, do the go for two layers and that seems like it actually worked then for the clones it's the same thing maybe go for two layers so there we go the coins are behind there now is now the ui the ui may get a little bit crazy so pull this script into the ui here and hopefully this guy is going to work this is a little bit tricky go to front right here we're going to go ahead and pull in that same exact script so we're going to do that but then on top of that we're going to do this right here so we put it in the if else because else we're just going to go forward one layer like that so if the level loss equals na which is normal then do all the stuff we did last episode or whenever we did this otherwise just go forward one layer and then in the actual costume switch costume to bg and do all of this stuff like that wave message is also doing the bad thing when i receive new wave we're going to do the exact same thing like so so now we should be able to restart this whole thing and hopefully everything works now i highly doubt this because we'll probably have to go through this a couple of times to make sure that everything's working so come on you can do this so boom 
boom and boom defeat there we go everything does go behind it but the sign the letters now are behind it so i'm gonna change the health to go forward one layer like that i'm just kind of playing around right now i changed the health to do go forward one layer and the ui maybe one layer also i'm not sure i'm trying to just figure out what's up with the problem so there we go we changed those two little things there now hopefully this is going to work so there we go we're getting rid of it everything worked until there and then the defeat sign still doesn't go to front which i'm not sure why maybe the when i started to clone is three in the when i started to clone for the level lost unlocked so maybe if we do a when i receive and do when i receive update and then go forward 1000 layers that does work but because it's the clone it's also doing when i start as a clone so they're kind of gonna flicker like that if we make a new variable and do a clone variable and do for the sprite only and in the very beginning here we set that clone no because the sprite's not the clone but we set it yes when i start as a clone then we do an if else here like this and we do a if clone equals no then that means we're going to want to go forward just three layers otherwise go forward a thousand oops not no equals clone if clone equals no like that no none of this is working okay size so i think i figured this out so as you can see if we click to start the wave we have the wave incoming here and they come through when we take out our health or little health boom boom and boom and as you can see boom look at that the defeat actually goes to front which is so so exciting so all you need to do is do the create clone of myself and when i start as a clone go for three layers and then in the forever loop go forward 1000 layers and then when i receive update if the clone is not equal to yes which is means it's the sprite and go to your front so there we go this is finally working now that we have that i want to make it go back to the level select once it knows we lost so if we duplicate that and do if the health is less than one in the forever loop and then put that underneath a when i receive play level a wait four seconds and then a broadcast level select like that and then a stop this script that way it doesn't keep doing this forever and ever because it's in a forever loop so now let's go ahead and restart this and test it so now if we go ahead and lose this level come on yep yep and then defeat and it pops up there like so and after a couple seconds look at that we get sent back to the level select but the difference is, is as you can see it doesn't unlock this next level we still can't click it so we have to click on level one and try it again so now i want to do the same thing except i want to make it for the winning side i want to duplicate this and change this to an if and do if health is less than one except i want to change this to total enemies so that means we've beat this level so i want to set the level one slash loss to one because we've won it then switch costume to victory to make this all work make sure to go into the enemies and see this script right here change this wait two seconds to a wait five seconds then make sure to also change your speed of your enemies back to one in there eat the level and hopefully that screen we just programmed the victory screen will pop up boom 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 come on come on we don't want any health taken out there we go so 150 let's go ahead and level up our tower there and we're go ahead and start the next wave oh so, oh yeah this is shredding through those enemies look at that this tower is really good let's go ahead and just back this guy up with a, an extra tower since we got the money for him okay come on boom 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 oh yes we took it out and look at that yes victory and after we're done it sends us back to the level select look at that look at that that is so exciting and it completes that level and we can move on to the next level but there's a few little crazy things as you can see, it doesn't delete these towers so we need to kind of check out what in the world is going on here so what we need to do is go ahead and anywhere in the towers do a when i receive and do level select a repeat 10 times a delete and a hide i'll go ahead and pull this in to the enemies also because as you can see here we also have some little baby health bars up there so as you can see here it's actually duplicating the slimes if we take health down on the wave one so we need to go ahead and quickly fix this bug all we need to do is do a when i receive wave complete just do a hide and delete this clone so hopefully now if we go ahead and start this and we take a little bit of damage hopefully all of this will actually work we may take a little bit more damage than i would like oh yeah okay so we took one damage hopefully now this second wave will work
There we go, the second wave is now working, even if we take a little bit of damage. So that is actually good, but I'm going to go ahead and cheat a little bit and give us some really overpowered towers, maybe two towers in fact. Maybe that way we guaranteed win, because I want to make sure that this all wins. Oh my gosh, look how overpowered we are with two upgraded arrow towers. So normally you would not be able to do this. Boom, look at that. Uh, victory, boom, we get to stare at it for a little bit, and look at this, it sends us back to this page, and this all works, man, I'm so excited, oh yes, look at this, it sends us, it completes that level, and everything works properly, so that's where I'm going to end off this episode, so thank you all so much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed this episode on how to add health and a win-loss system into your game, if you did enjoy it, then as always, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more future content, but anyways, this has been Owen, and I am out. Thank you.